Let's cut to the chase and get playing online using the Ryubin emulator, also known as Ryujinx. And of course, to get this to work, you do need the latest version of Ryubin Switch emulator set up with the proper keys, firmware, and games that you want to play online. If you need help with that, I'll link my video guide in the top right and the description for you to get it set up. And before we keep going, I need to let you know that this does require a strong, stable internet connection. It doesn't have to be crazy. Mine is only 115 download and 30 upload speed. I can't get fiber optics where I live, but I tested mine on Wi-Fi. It kept disconnecting before even starting a race on Mario Kart, but when I switched to an ethernet cord, it played no problem. And your experience may vary depending on how well your system runs games, as you may have a higher chance of disconnecting when your frame rate drops. So to get started, open up your Ryujinx emulator. If there's any updates, make sure you update to the latest version. Make sure you have all your games set up and the update matters. If you're trying to play online on update 3.0.5, you can only play with other people who are also on that update. If you're on 3.0.3 and your friend is also on that same version, you can play on older. But I would suggest updating as more people have that. So to enable online, go to options, settings, go to network in the top right, and then these are the settings that you want. So yours may be on disabled starting off. Ryu LDN lets you play with any other Ryujinx users. LDN MITM can potentially set you up with lobbies with people with a modded switch. But go ahead and put Ryu LDN. And of course, with Ryujinx, if you hover over the option, it'll give you a summary on what that changes. You can leave disable P2P network off. Network paraphrase, this should be public to start. This will basically let you join anyone's room that also has public or anyone that has public can join your rooms. If you would like to lock your rooms, make them private, you can just hit generate random. And now you have a network paraphrase that if you have friends you wanna play with, you just copy it, send that paraphrase to them, they input it, and then only you guys can play in your lobbies. But I will clear mine, leave it on public. There's a better chance of getting people. And as I mentioned before, network interface, I personally can only get this to work on ethernet. Maybe if your Wi-Fi is stronger than mine, you can select Wi-Fi and have that option as well. You can leave it on default and see if that works, but I just choose exactly what I'm using. I'm using ethernet. It's just a more stable connection for me, but that's it. Once you've done that, click apply, press okay. And before we hop into a game, the first thing that we need to do is go to options, user profiles. The official guide does recommend creating a new profile only if you haven't done so already as the default profile gives you a higher likelihood of disconnecting. So go ahead and make one. You just press plus, choose a nickname, set profile image, save, and now you have a new profile. If you have save data on your other profile, the default one, and you want to transfer it over, switch back to that one, close, and then on the game, right click, click on open user save directory. And here's your save data, just right click and copy, exit out, switch back to that new profile that we made, close, right click on the same game, open user save directory, as you can see, this one's empty, it's brand new. Just paste it in and you'll have the save data. You can do that for every game that you want. So with that out of the way, if you go to the second link in the description, it can tell you the online status. As you can see, it tells you who's online and what version they are on. So currently there's 83 people online. I was just playing with the man on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, shout out. But it also tells you the version. So if you see a lobby that you wanna join, you can go back into the emulator, right click, manage title updates, and you can switch to a different version. An older one, click save, and then you can try to join their lobby that way. So along with that, each game can have different steps on getting online. And over on the first link that I have in the description, the official guide, it has a whole list on the right side of different games. So if you scroll down, the first one is Animal Crossings. It just tells you where to go, who to talk to, and I wanna fly, and then you can do local play that way. You scroll down a little farther, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This is one of the games that could possibly disconnect you if you cannot maintain 60 FPS. But it does say on fast CPUs, shader compilation may not be a problem when you're running Vulkan. But basically, it just tells you the instructions on how to play. So you go to wireless play, and then you join or create a lobby. Tons of different options. Some of the games, for example, Mario Strikers, this game requires a mod to bypass the intro crash. So some games do have extra steps. That's important to know. So that's done, we'll minimize that and let's get into a lobby. I may have to blur some gameplay just in case Nintendo tries to take this video down. I apologize for that. Go to wireless play, 
Now, this step is crucial to access the public lobbies. You must enable Ryujinx for inbound traffic. So to do this, all you have to do is create a room and then you should see a prompt. And as long as you click allow, you'll be set up to play. And then you can back out. And then if there's any lobbies to join, you can go ahead and join those. But you do need to press allow in order for online to work. But there you go, guys. That's how you play online with Ryujinx. I hope this video helped you. And if you're interested in having full lobbies, maybe we can plan for a stream to get more people in it. Let me know if that's a good idea in the comments below. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>